In Meet Manager, teams have the option to include things like pool records and or team records in each database. This will allow teams to publish and keep track of team records and pool records or even league records for their own benefit. To do this, teams go to events from the main menu and select records right here about the middle of the screen toward the top. In this case, we've already got some records set up from the league championship in this database, which are also included in the ASA template databases. If you would like to add another record for a particular meet, if you click on this add new record tag, this little sheet of paper right here, it allows you to create a brand new record. So let's say we wanted to establish a team record. You could put a different flag in there, such as an ampersand or a pound sign, to mark any time a record comes up that it's flagged in the results. You could select that that record can only be set by a particular team or can be done by all teams. In this case, if it's a team record, you only want one team to be able to do that. Allow exhibition athletes and or relays to set records, that's personal choice. Usually teams will allow that. Click OK. And note you have your new team record down here. To set up the records in, in the computer, the events are listed. All you have to do at that point is input the time, the year, the month, the day, the record holder, and all the pertinent information, the affiliation, which is the team. You can also include the relay names. Once you've set up those records in the system, you're able to go through, and I'm going to click back over to our championship record, Note you have the option to either create a report and print out a separate record report, or note this update selection. If you click on update, once the meet is complete and you have results in for that particular meet, the system will go through and search. As you note, it's been checking up here. It didn't find any new records, but if there were any swims that were under the time standard for that particular event, it would identify those and give them in a list and say, are you certain if you want to accept those? If you'd like to accept them, you accept them, and it'll update the records in the system as you go forward. Let's close that. In order to transfer the records from one meet to the next, you'll need to export those records out of this particular database and then import them into the next database. So to create the export file for the records once the meet is done and any records have been updated, you click export and it'll say it can create a records export file for the tag that you've selected. Click yes. And again, it gives you the option to name the record, team record. You can send that file anywhere on your computer. The default will normally be on the C drive in the high sports folder in the swim meet manager 3 subfolder with records. Once you've identified it and named it, click save and that record file has been created. Once that's done, click OK and again note the team name, or the, I'm sorry, the file name so you can keep track of what file to look for. In order to bring those records into your next database, we again would return to this screen through events and records and go to the import feature to import those records into the, into the new database. We will click import and go search for that particular folder which in this case I put on my computer on my C drive. I put it in the high sport folder and I put it in the Swim Meet Manager 3 subfolder. I hit it pretty well. And we're looking for records. And there's my team record. I double click on that. And again, it gives me the option to select which file I wanted to bring in. Click OK. And it brings that file into the computer. That's a good way of keeping track of individual records. And this feature can also be found in Team Manager as well.